what I'm trying to say here is that uh, the fort teaches us about this problem of inside-outside. And so it's kind of a manifestation of colonial frontier logics. And that forts are always on the frontier. And they represent civilization and development. Right? And what happens is that four-cornered kind of manifestation of civilization eventually expands, right? takes over the whole territory and pushes the outsiders to the margins. Right? So it's this fort teaching that's the problem here. Right? And, and I would say one of the most insidious parts of fort teaching is this idea that everyone needs to come inside the fort. Right? And if you stay outside, it's, at your own, it's your own fault. You'll suffer the consequences of that. Right? And there's an a Argentinian philosopher named Enrique Dussel. He talks about this in terms of the underside of modernity, right? where there's this sort of underside of the sacrifice of people who don't consent to become modern, right? which I think is part of this as well, fort pedagogy. You know, and I think in Western Canada, you, know, you can't travel very far, actually, without encountering a fort of some kind, a museum, right? So the fort has become a mythic symbol, I would say, of our country that tells a very strong and, and compelling story about the nation and the nationality and where it comes from. It's creation story, you can say, in the West that excludes it has to, right? So again, back to this question, how did this happen? You know, I know my ancestors spent a lot of time around forts. Yeah. Why did they do that? Right? Were, they, were they necessarily bad places back then? I kind of think they were gathering places, right? In Cree, they call them behona. So they're gathering places, and, and we know that most forts were put at places that were already significant to Aboriginal people. That's why they put them there, because they wanted people to be there already. So Rossdale Flats right down here was a major gathering place. This is what the old people tell us. Before the fort was there, people gathered there. Hundreds. Annually. They have sun dances there. Thirst dance. They would trade. That's why the fort was put there. 